Debate bros are proven again.
it's Thursday. It's Thursday. I'm here. You're here. Yeah, what? What's going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? It is, as always, good to see you. I am late because I've been doing my new video. And it's finally finished. Well, there was a couple of little mistakes that I needed to iron out. I watched it when I uploaded it to um, Patreon for Tier 2 and Tier 3 patrons. And obviously they get to see it before I made any final changes to it and stuff like that. But there weren't any like mistakes that were too ridiculous. Uh, there was just like a couple of things that I got changed. So I'm going to be re-rendering it after the stream tonight. Um... But yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing all day. I've been working on it, and I feel good, and I'm, I feel like I'm back in the rhythm. Um, welcome in, everybody. How are you all doing? What's going on? It's good to see you. Who have we got in the chat already? Let's have a little look. We got Cryptid is over Cryptid. Hello, hello, hello. Monsieur Squirrel, what's going on? We got Femboy Frankenstein. We got K. Rosencrates. We got Aslan. We got Yanshpin, we got Gumba Master, we got Lyra, we got Pat Potato. You just finished the video yourself? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How you doing, Femboy Frankenstein? Good to see you. Uh, Beanie Gaby, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. How you doing? Hen Hen, that's right. That's right. Um, What have I got else to say? I don't know. That's it, really. Uh, video uh, video looked huge, Aslan said somewhere in the chat. Congrats on finishing the vid. It looked it looked huge. It is the longest video I've done so far. It's like 37 minutes long. It's ridiculous. I just like I said last night in the stream, I didn't realize how long it was going to be. I didn't realize how much I actually knew about this Twitch nonsense. You're extra sleepy today, Papa Tato. I'm extra sleepy today, which is good because I've got to be up early tomorrow because I'm going out of Cornwall with I'm a Coconut, who is now in his little car. He's driving in his little car on the way to me. And I'm going to be going to Cornwall with him tomorrow. Very excited. It's going to be so warm because I know it's like super hot down south. It's not that hot up north. It's not that hot. So, you know, I've been pretty blessed. Uh, the stream I was going to mod yesterday didn't happen, but now they're doing a surprise stream at the same time you're doing a stream. Damn. Well, you're going to have to go and get it done, aren't you? You're going to have to go and mod. <laughs> By some magic, I decided to wake up at 7 a.m., so it's high being here too. Yeah. Yeah, it's so weird. I'm tired as fuck. I had a normal amount of sleep last night and everything. Well, normal for me, you know? Why did they build a wall out of corn? I don't know, Gummy Master. No idea. How are you doing? It sucks down here. Have fun and stay hydrated. That's the, that's the key. That's the key. With a fucking slap head. Gotta make sure I'm hydrated. Gotta make sure that I'm sunscreened up. Yeah, don't let me forget that chat. Don't let me get sunburnt. Don't let me get sunstroke. How you doing, Chrissy? Eh? What's going on? Can I get a shout out for Chrissy, eh, please? I know that she feeds here too as well. I forgot to say hi to them because I'm, I've already been chatting with them in, in the Discord. <laughs> Bring a big reusable bottle. I'm serious. Yeah, defo. I normally do, but sometimes ADHD happens and I just forget. But if I do that, I'll normally buy one while I'm like, you know watching uh, uh, Hujima, how's it? Oh boy, oh, API error. Why does that happen again? Why does that happen again? I gotta, I gotta do something, hang on. I gotta do something real quick. I think it's this. Yeah, it's this, it's this, it's this. Give me a second. All right, give me, give me a sec, give me a sec.
It's API der day error day again. Yeah. Wear a kefir? I'm not sure that would be appropriate. What is a kefir? Oh, yeah, the Palestinian scarf. Yeah, but like, what? You want me to like wrap it around my head like a racist? Oh, that's a weird comment, Rob. That's a weird ass comment. But hi. Uh, give me a hot minute, chat. Wait, what? What is happening? You don't need to wrap it around, just drape it over the top. I think, like... It's not spe yeah, it's not specifically Palestinian. Yeah, it's a general scarf for deserts. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, Twitch thinks I'm not a real person. Something weird has gone on. Hang on, I gotta do one of these fucking... I gotta do one of these weird things. Oh, God damn it! are you kidding me? It doesn't carry any cultural significance? Okay, no worries. That's fine. I don't know, it, to me it just sounded... It just sounded like a, a you know... I, what the fuck is going on here? Like, what, what is going on? I am so fucking confused. I think I'm going to have to leave this till later. I'm not going to be able to figure this out, like, now. I've, like, totally forgotten my password for Twitch. <laughs> but How? Surely it's that. I mean, I guess I'm live as well, so I've like I've got that on my mind as well. Pick the elephant. Okay, there you go. There's the elephant. All right. That's the incorrect password. Fuck it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to do it. No shout outs today. Sorry. Yeah, it's better to wear on the side of caution. Listen, listen. Here's what we're gonna fucking do. Um, there you go, Christian. There's a little shout out for you. Courtesy, courtesy custom shout out. There it is. Brilliant. Hello, Drakeson. How are you doing? got a few from the last factory in Palestine. You mostly wear them like a scarf. Oh, no, no, no. I know that you could just, like, wear them like that. But, like, look, you're you're a British guy, innit? You're from Britain, innit? Right? So, you know the racist trope of, like, towel head. Like, when people use that word and shit like that. It just came across... Like, like you want me to, like, do, like, put a towel around my head. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It obviously wouldn't be a towel. It could be a... You know what I'm talking about. That's why I was getting a bit like, sounds a bit weird, but yeah. Anyway, it's cool. It's fine. Forget about it. <laughs> uh, if you have problems with passwords, you might consider something like Bitwarden. Uh, if you have problems with someone with ADHD, no, I just have ADHD. It's just that it, I just have fucking ADHD. That's what it is. I've got that shit. I've got 2FA. I just have fucking ADHD. That's all it is. Um, I shot a while ago, forgot the password of your EC card while you were standing at the cashier and you wanted to pay for a two weeks worth of stuff. Yeah, that shit sucks. I hate it. It's glowing, going slowly but surely. Hope you're well. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Just having a bit of a breakdown at the start of stream. I'm just like, fuck, my bot doesn't work. Uh, for some reason, I don't know my password, but like, I probably will know my password one of them fucking things in it uh but right what was i gonna say i've not got anything planned for the stream i've literally not got anything planned i've got a couple of things in the watch later that we could watch together very exciting 
Bitwarden lets you copy paste login details from a program on your desktop. That sounds incredibly insecure. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, you know, compared to what I've got already, which is like I have a password that nobody knows in my head. And that's it. You know? Need to get a psychiatrist referral for your GP. I'm pretty good. Uh, got, uh, pretty sure I got ADHD. Okay, so what I would do, Rob, if you're going to do that, don't just get him to refer you to the NHS psychiatrist because I've been on that list for six months. Get him to refer you to a private clinic. And I know that sounds like, well, wait, I can't afford that. The NHS will, like, cover the costs of certain private clinics and go for this one called ADHD 360. That's who I'm trying to get referred to at the minute. So get that done, but make sure you use ADHD 360. That's the one, that's the main one that people keep telling me to go to, so uh, yeah. Also Luna, how are you doing? Long time no see, what's going on? I saw a picture of you on Instagram yesterday, you look gorgeous. How are you? Password managers are great nowadays. Ah, yeah, sure. Like, if you want to use them, that's fine. But for me, I'm okay. Like, and here's the thing as well, chat. Like, when people tell me that, like, look, you're, you've got ADHD and you're bad at remembering stuff and you should just use a thing that is easy for you to remember stuff and it remembers stuff for you, that fucks with me super hard. And it makes me, like, hate myself. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a struggle. That's a struggle that I struggle with a lot. You're looking for a referral at the minute too? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You gotta get it. You gotta get it done. I think that making a dumb video for YouTube is a little test run for uploading to YouTube. Yeah, get it done. Get it fucking done. Seriously. You just had to reset a bunch of passwords because you switched your phones. That shit is uber stressful. Uber stressful. I'm sure it's one of my usual 12 passwords. <laughs> no, you see, I don't have that shit. I got like, I don't know. I got like, well, no, I shouldn't say. No, I'm not telling you how many passwords I got. Don't tell anyone that you got passwords. You can still do shout outs, it just takes a bit longer. Okay, can I get a shout out for Aslan Silver and for Sugary Senpai, please? How you doing, Sugary Senpai? How did you find out about your ADHD, if you don't mind me asking? I looked on NHS symptoms and ADD adults matches me perfectly, but ADD child E past does not. Um, so basically, I got referred. I didn't get referred. I got sent a checklist by my GP, and I filled it all in, and they were like, yeah, you got ADHD. You need to get referred. No worries, Rob. Thanks for being here, yo. Take it easy. I don't have any passwords. I just make a new account every time I come here. <laughs> you just made some good curry. Oh, hell yeah. That's what you want. That is what you want. Uh, like I say, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. i got nothing for you today. There's no content. It's just me. I'm just, I'm just here. Sounds like less of a pain in the ass than I thought it would be. Um, I mean, it depends how gatekeepy your GP is. You know, if your GP is a piece of shit, then maybe they're going to be like, oh, you don't have it. You know, don't worry about it. You're fine. Yeah, just write lists or something. You know what I mean? You just got to be like firm with them and be like, oi, I need that. All right, Lyra, thank you so much for being here. Take it easy. You have a good time modding. Um, not even wet fairy guy, nothing, no content. There's no content today. Like I said, it's just me. What if I just streamed Kenshi? <laughs> what if I just played Kenshi on stream? It would be so hard. Like, what I'm thinking of is, what I'm actually thinking of is, is, Working for like three months solid So like do three months of streaming four times a week a video every week and Keep going for like three months, right? And then after that have like a four week break and you know do stuff like 
couple of bits like DIY around the flat that I've been needed to do and um, well I say DIY it's more like repairs stuff like that maintenance um, and then revamp the whole channel like do everything rebrand not rebrand same name and stuff like that but just like you know a bunch of I guess, what would you call it? Aesthetic changes? Like change my, whatchamacallit, change my profile picture, change my, um, all my stuff underneath the stream. Lots of that stuff down there is wrong still. So I gotta get rid of a lot of that. I've still not done it, ADHD in it. Uh, and then just two weeks of chilling out. And then when I come back to streaming, Hopefully by that time, I'll be popular enough that I can just like stream whatever game that I want for like a bit. And I won't lose too many viewers, you know? Because I think Kenshi would be a really good game to stream because it's got a lot of like political stuff going on in it. Apart from it being just like a really like fun game to play and really immersive. It has actually, it has actually got like a really cool system of... Um, subterfuge and espionage and strategy and war and stuff like that and the politics of like a bunch of different factions are really interesting you know that's right goblin hugger how you doing goblin you'd watch a little kenshi I have literally no concept of time. I turn up whenever you feel like it. I won't notice how long it's been. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that too. To be honest, I'm just like, ah, you know, I, 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 I when I'm like working in the day, just doing like little odd bits and bobs. There. A streamers that I will watch and I will pop into the chats like I've not gone anywhere. You know? I'd watch a lot of Kenshi because the first couple hours of a new game are stunningly boring to watch. Oh, hell yeah. They definitely are, yeah. Do you reckon the quality of mental health services depends on whether you live in a firm Tory seat versus a firm Labour seat? No, I don't think so. I think that, like... Because there are people in extremely conservative parts of the world who are very progressive, you know what I mean? About how dismissive the practitioners are. It's hard for me to say because I'm in a firm labor seat. I'm in Manchester, you know? Like, and even if you went to like a conservative area of Manchester, you'd probably get good healthcare still. But also there are some labor seats where uh, you're gonna get terrible healthcare. You mean statistically? Oh, I've got no idea. I'm sorry. I got no idea. I know I said, do you reckon, and you didn't want an actual definitive answer, but I couldn't I couldn't even give you a reckoning. Hey, Adrenaline, what's going on? Trying to get ADHD assessment via a young teen GP referred you to the pediatrician. Pediatrician was basically dismissive back to square one. Fuck that. That sucks. Pediatricians are so bad. Like why I hear this I hear this same story like again and again and again all the time. It's literally you and your living partner every day. Anything that happened to you in the last three days is, is either forever ago or just a few days ago and it can change. Oh my god. You're in the least right wing province in Canada, possibly. Yeah, yeah. That fucking sucks. That super sucks. So there you go. It it, it it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. Medical establishment is not fully on board with ADHD. Oh, no, for sure. Okay, if you're in the UK, you can request a second opinion. There you go. Okay, yeah. I don't know what that's like in uh, in Canada. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Oh, Canada. It's not Oh, Canada. It's not sung like that, is it? It's Oh, Canada. <laughs> it's funny that you said that because it's the national anthem. As a Californian, I've learned that left-leaning area matters little if the person you're interacting with is a shit heel. I was talking about this the other week, about how, like, the LAPD exists. Like, people talk about California being a, a, a blue state, and it's like a, a progressive utopia. It's like, no, well, the LAPD exists in Los Angeles. Are you mad? 
They're like one of the most disgusting fascist gangs of all time. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, Canada. We're not as bad as the States. <laughs> <laughs> That's a low bar. We've still got a queen. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That's funny as fuck. The entire Central Valley is West Virginia, wedged between San Fran and LA. Yeah. Yeah, that feels about right. Yeah. Let's not even get started on Oregon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Portland is like super bad for, for fascism. The Proud Boys love hanging around Oregon. Uh, Portland even and probably a lot of places in the rural parts of Oregon Yeah, yeah Yeah Um. well, you know, I'm up for I'm up for playing like, you know a bit of a bit of Kenshi to try and like You know explain it to you. It might be like a really chaotic stream and it might not like make a lot of sense to a lot of people but you know I can like I can like show you my 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 shit if you want I don't if you want I, I don't know it depends. Is that like, you know, we could watch some garbage or we could just like, you know, fuck around in Kenshi for a bit. Because I know a lot of people don't know about Kenshi. And Kenshi's like got some super interesting stuff in it. Explain the game. I got so excited I nearly spat out my tea then, Pat Potato. Squad based post apocalyptic RPG. Yeah, it's less of an RPG and it's more of a, more of a real time strategy game. But it does have RPG elements, which is really cool. I'm old and not a gamer, but I love watching gamers. Zero explanation for this. Oh hell yeah! All right, yeah, I'd be down for that. Fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna stream some Kenshi. Fuck it. Let me just set up the gaming scene real quick. I have like uh, let's go on my uh, on my main fucking my main stream scene last night for like the whole the whole stream i didn't even know that, that was a thing okay let's get rid of that bring up steam game kenshi right there oh it's not even fucking it's not even gonna fucking work it's not even gonna fucking work because i don't have the fucking twitch thing right it doesn't matter i can just change it manually that's slightly annoying slightly annoying Kenji is actually a very good left chat stream game because it enables some pretty interesting conversations. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff to talk about regarding Kenji. It is, like you say, left chat, left chat game. Very left chat game. All right. It's Vivi game time. It's been so long since I've played a Vivi game. How you doing, Survived? Welcome in. Hey, Chaos Merlin. All right, let's open this shit. Now, I got like a couple of mods on Kenshi, but like nothing too um, different to the vanilla game, the vanilla experience. Uh, I'm not going to be starting from a new game or anything like that. Fuck that noise. Music sounds slightly high compared to voice. I think my voice up today and everything. Filters, compressor, side changes. I should be fine. I love that name, Lo-Fi Games. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good name. But what I'd say though is like, you know. These game developers are not that good. <laughs> Like, they're, they're fine, you know, they're fine. They're not, like, terrible, but... The, um... You know what, I've just realized my... fucking cradle here of my mic is extremely fucked. What's going on with that? Hang on, sorry, it's gonna sound horrible for a sec. Give me a second. Okay. That should solve a lot of audio issues, whatever the fuck is going on there. Oh, okay. Right, so. This is my little Kenshi 
land. And let me explain to you what's going on. So, the, you don't start Kenshi like this. The, this is not this is not like the beginning of Kenshi. It doesn't fucking work like this at all. Um, I've built all this from the ground up. It was super hard. This game is so fucking hard. <coughs> but essentially, what you got in this game is this land, right? And it's this it's this whole place. And there are all sorts of different factions. You've already got lots of questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are huge trees. They are huge trees. That's right. Yeah. Um, so the area that I'm settled in is a place called Spider v Spider Plains. And it's called that for a reason. There are some gross, like, a, a post-apocalyptic monsters in this game. And you do have to, like, fight them because they're extremely predatory. And you have to defend yourself from them, which is why... That's the main reason I've got walls, but also there are, like, lots of bandits and shit. Um, and, you know, that's a problem. Because in the post-apocalypse, people aren't too, like, kind to nice people and shit like that. So, there's all that. So, it's Australia. Yeah, it's just Australia. Yeah, it's Mad Max. So, uh, my guys, they're called the Cheeky Beans. Uh... We made a place called Cheekingburg. It used to be called Cheeking Village, but then it got massive, so I called it Cheekingburg because that's like that's what you call like a big town in it, or whatever. Um, and I got all my guys, and I got like fucking seventy odd guys, like seventy, like seventy people and three no sixty nine nice people and three animals. So, I got my, like, infantry squad here, which is, like, a group of 27 extremely elite fighters. And my archer squad here, which is, an again, another group of elite trained crossbowmen, crossbow people, right? The shape of the map looks like France or Spain. Yeah, it's just like a, a, a severed Spain. It's like you cut, like, if, like, if you cut off France from the rest of the world, like, there you go, it's France, right? Yeah, Elite Fighters, a.k.a. Cheeky Beans. They're my cheeky little beans, yeah. Yeah, they're cute. Uh, so... You know. Those are gas masks. Yes! You didn't have racially segregate all the robo people into the infantry. No, 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 not at all. Yes, there are robot people in this game. It's super cool. They're called the Skeletons. Um, I'm going to talk to you more about that later, right? Yeah, hey, Sork, how's it going? Yeah, we're playing Kenshi. The only game that you played that, that looked like this was Dune on PS1, and I was not good at it. It's not like that. It's not like Dune. No way. I've played that game. It's it's nothing like that. Um, it's a lot more involved. This game is, like, a lot more involved. Imagine, imagine RimWorld, but just, like, super involved. So... And I've also, I've also separated them into different squads. So I've got, like, my training crew here, and I've got, like, the guards. The guards are, like, super strong guys... Um, that I've mainly recruited from, like, prisoners. And, yes, I have had to, like, make a prison in this game. It sucks. It's not ideal. But I do my best to keep them fed. And I do my best to recruit prisoners. But there's only so much that you could do in recruiting prisoners, and that's a mod. I literally searched for a mod to be able to recruit prisoners because I thought it was a incredibly cruel that you didn't have many options for prisoners in the vanilla version of this game. Like, the only options in vanilla is to be like, yeah, you know, uh, just let them go. But like, when you let them go, the AI is a bit fucked and they will like start to fight you and stuff. So that sucks. Um, but the only people I got in prison right now are these twats from the Holy Nation, right? And they are basically fascists. Like they are the fascist guys in the game. As you can tell, the Holy Nation, it's like a Christian-based crusader cult. They're extremely racist. They're extremely misogynist. They're extremely fascist. Uh, so, I, I am at war with them, naturally. Um, yeah, the prison is just open-air bird cages. Like, there's no other option. You don't get to, like, house them in, like, a, a big building or anything like that. So, it's not good. It's not good at all. Like, you know, obviously, like, if they had different versions of this in the game... I would make, like, a bigger house or something. 
that they could live in. But you you can choose to like keep them all fed and like, you know, and to like, you know, heal them and shit when they die. Must they be kept in a circle? No, that's just the way that I've done this, right? That's just the way that I've done this. Uh, and so basically the reason that they're out here like this There's an entire country for gamers. That's right. Yeah, the reason that they're out here like this is because the training in this game sucks So when you get like new recruits and they're like low level to train them up If you use these training dummies up here, like you can see I got two new re recruits here We got crumble John and we got streak crumble John has got like a bad back it's like, you know, you can you can make your peeps look like this in uh, in like the, the the character creator and stuff, but he is just canonically like this because something happened to him in the Foglands, which is like a really weird place where there's a, a bunch of I don't know, it's it's weird. They're like cannibal guys. They're like cannibal guys. It's really, really weird. So something weird happened to him out there, so we saved him. And also Streak is uh, a saved person from the holy nation uh the holy nation she was basically like it's so there's so much yeah yeah i know i know i know what you want to say about streak i know what you want to say listen anyway um streak was basically like did she use his stomach meat to fill a bra <laughs> Streak is basically like she was there in the Holy Nation and she was like, um, they murdered my sister. They called her a heretic and you got to fucking save me. So I was like, okay, I'll save you. So I saved her. I rescued her. I was infiltrating. This game is so sick, gang. You can like infiltrate certain factions by like uh, disguising yourself. It's just so good. It's just so good. It's fucking, it's amazing. And like that whole interaction happened while I was like entering a town and trying to like, you know, basically steal some blueprints for weapons to make. You have a storyline for all the people in your city. Most of them have a storyline. Yeah, most of them have a storyline. Um, like a lot of the people are like, you know, uh, recruited prisoners. So you'll see there are a couple people in my faction called Lower Servant. And the reason for that is that they are slaves that I've freed by going to the holy nation um, and basically freeing them from their cages and then they choose to join you, basically. But the sad reality when a slave joins you is that you don't get to go into the um, the character creator and they end up um, just keeping the name Lower Servant. So in order to change their names, you have to take them to what's known as a plastic surgeon. And then you can change the appearance and stuff. So that's actually what I'm thinking about doing today. So I'm going to take two of my ex-slaves called Lower Servant. And we're going to go to a little place called the... Um, I think it's called... I think it's just called a way station. And that's, that's an outpost for tech hunters. And they have plastic surgeons. So let me find Lower Servant number one. And Lower Servant number two. This is something I've been meaning to do anyway, and obviously it's like a cool thing that you can just do in this game. Yeah, it's makeover day. I'm not going to change the appearance. I think the appearance is fine, but like, yeah. If you're into the gaming space, a good analogy is what if Dwarf Fortress had a baby with system shock? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, So, lower servant, the, b b both of my lower servant characters, both of my ex-slave characters. Yo, Prince Infidel. Thank you so much for the four-month streak. She wouldn't read out your message because it said shit in it. But you said shit. Where did the month go? Thank you so much for the four-month streak. I appreciate that. How are you doing, Prince? Welcome in. Thank you for the sub. This game looks and sounds absolutely sick. Oh, Sorkit. Listen, if I can get everyone in my chat into Kenshi over the next few weeks, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Right, so, every single one of these guys, they're all unique in their character. They all have, like, unique voice lines and shit like that, which is really cool. You'll be traveling through an area, and one of them will be like, yo, let's start a fucking fight. And the rest of them will be like, yo, calm down. What's going on? <laughs> uh, is it costly? I think it cost me 20 quid when I bought it. But it might have been on sale. I don't know. 
Um, it does have a steep learning curve. Yeah, I would say that. You start off most of the time with just like one guy. Like I started with just me and you get beaten up and like you can you can even in the first like hour of the game get beaten up captured and enslaved yourself and that's like super fucked up but it does help you like uh build your skills because you can like lock pick yourself out of a cage and then sneak out and that trains your stealth it trains your lock picking uh and then when you get beaten up and knocked out it changes it, it uh, tra uh trains your toughness and shit like that uh, now, one thing that I will say about, like, the different races in this game and, like, potentially problematic things that you could come across is with the skeletons themselves. Themselves, right? So, the skeletons, one benefit of skeletons is that they don't need food. So, the rest of the races in the game, and there's some cool races, I'll go through them all in, in a sec, but, like, so you got the skeletons, they're robots, so they don't need food. They don't need, like, sustenance, organic sustenance, like... Uh, humans and Shek and, and uh, uh, Hivers. Um, but basically, the benefit of that is that you can have them. And this sucks because it doesn't really like, you know, it, it, it just sucks, this, this, this part of it. But like when you assign someone to be a guard and like man these turrets that you can have outside of your, um, outside of your base, they won't leave to get food. So that's the main reason that I have like my robots guarding my base because they won't starve themselves to death trying to, um, you know, guard my base. <laughs> and it kind of sucks because you do need someone guarding the base on the turrets at all times because the AI and shit like that in this game is so bad that if you leave your base to go on a mission and come back, sometimes a local faction will just decide that they own it and you'll come back and they will be like manning the walls and they'll shoot you as you try and get back into your base. So that sucks. So you do need robots looking after your base. It kind of sucks, but they're cool, you know. They're just cool little guys, and they're pretty. They're pretty hard if you train them right. They could be fucking super hard, super good guys. Um, and so there's other races in the game, and there are two types of human. And no, it's not just like white humans, and actually it kind of is it's so weird like so the two types of humans that you you'll come across are scorch landers and they are like actually black like not like you know they're not just like super dark brown or whatever like dark skinned like they'll actually just like black like you know solid black i'll show you i've got like a couple of them in my team uh, i think brain is a scorch lander yeah and like so you've got scorch landers and i don't know if there's any like racist law around why they are like that skin tone i don't know but as you can see there are actually just like you know black humans as well like ark is a, a black human if i can find him um or screaming yeah screaming here so there are all kinds of like different skin tones under the greenlander version of humans so i don't know i, d I don't really know what the law is behind that but it is kind of like dark souls is that like they don't really explain where like a lot of this stuff comes from or like why the Scorchlanders skin is like, you know, solid black kind of thing. It doesn't really like explain it, but it's cool. Like it's it's just like a, a bit different, a bit sci-fi, you know? Uh, and then you've also got the Shek. The Shek are cool as fuck. Uh, I don't know why Hot Longs is up there. This is one example of the fucking, um, <laughs> of the game having like a really shit uh, the AI thing. I don't even know what's going on here. Hotlongs is just trapped up there, and I don't know how to get it down. Oh, fucking hell. How did that happen? God damn it. Yeah, like drow humans and human humans. Yeah, that's exactly it, Prince. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Hotlongs is a shek. So, while she's up here and, and uh, a little bit, like, you know, uh, uh, unable to move, I I'll show you the shek. So, the shek are kind of like... Uh, Klingons, like they, they got these like cool horns growing out of the face, like exoskeleton stuff. And um, what did that button say? Wait, which button? I don't know. There's loads of buttons on the screen. You're gonna have to like, <laughs> you're gonna have to fucking specify. Um, so Hot Longs is like uh, a Shek, and within the Shek, they've got like different skin tones as well and stuff like that. It's like really cool how you can like do a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, in like the designer, the characters, the go away one. Oh, I got no idea what you mean. Sorry, 
I got no idea what you mean. Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, it rains in this area. Yeah, 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 because like my, my base is like halfway in the swamp and halfway in the, in the desert. So it'll rain and there'll also be dust storms, which is pretty good because there are so many, there's so much to this game chat. I'm just like trying to explain it to you all and it's so, it's just so much. It's a city manager with inventory Tetris stuff for each person. Yes. And you can get people, um, don't worry, you can get people backpacks. So that's all fine. The buzzing noise means there's a dead body somewhere. That's an extremely annoying part of the game. If there's like a dead body somewhere and you don't know where the fuck it is and you're trying to find it, it sucks. Uh, right, so what was I explaining there? So you got the Shek. The Shek are known for like being sort of like, um, they're like a super hardy kind of people. Like they're like a warrior culture uh, and they have like a lot of honor and stuff like that. So I don't know if there's like any kind of like problematic notes there when it comes to like how like indigenous people are seen and stuff like that. Um, but that is like, you know, one element of their race. And then you've also got the Hivers. Now, I will say that it, there's definitely a problematic element of the Hivers because they are known across the world as like trying to scam you all the time. And that's like a bit of an anti-Semitic trope, you know? Um, I don't know why the game designer thought that that would be a good idea to design them like that. When they also had like a really progressive thing in the Hivers, and I'll find you a Hiver, Masaru is a Hiver, uh, they don't have any gender. The Hivers are genderless. Like they don't have uh, pronouns like she, her, or he, him, or anything like that. They just have like they, them, unique, uh, sorry, gender neutral pronouns to describe them and stuff like that. Um, that fluctuates in the writing of the game and the dialogue quite a bit. So I think that they were trying to go for something good, but they just missed out on a couple of things here and there. So I don't really know. Um, but other than those like slight problematic elements, like there's, there's a lot of fucking cool shit in this game. Um, like it's quite obvious that the, you know, yeah, yeah, tra trans Jewish aliens. Yeah, like... <laughs> That stereotype is fairly sus, but is it, like, true in-universe? It is actually true in-universe, yeah. Because it's not just, like... Um, yeah, it's not just, like, they say, oh, these people do... Well, actually... Mm, there's a weird... There's a weird... There's a weird... This is what I mean, like, in, in some... In some bits of it... Yeah, so in some bits of it, it's, like... No, if you go to like a hive village where the hivers live, you won't, they won't try and like rip you off and shit. Like they do want to sell you shit and whatnot. Um, but when caravans come to your settlement, which happens like every now and then, they try and sell you stuff. And the way that the dialogue is structured makes it sound like they know that the products that they're selling you are inferior. So that shit absolutely sucks regarding that. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know what they were going for with that. If they were going for like trying to point out racism or anything like that. Um, I mean, like they don't do anything bad to you in the game. It's not like a, you know, like, they, they, like they, they're not like always trying to rip you off and like desperately trying to do it. And they'll like kill you if you don't do it and shit. That's like not a thing. Um, they're basically like humanoid insects like that's that's how they're like you know portrayed and shit like that um and so like they just like do what the hive tells them to do you know what i mean yeah it, they could have stuck to like a false negative stereotype like that would be okay uh, but that's the thing it is like that in some scenarios so it just doesn't make sense why they like tried to to make it like that and then they didn't i don't know it sucks um but yeah like obviously like when you bring a hiver into your like uh you know fold into your into your like gang and shit and there are there are hivers in like various other gangs and shit like that it seems like they've like broken the hive mind and they don't have anything like that to their personality like when they're when they're in your crew so i it, it just doesn't make sense it's, it's inconsistent or maybe it's implied that the queen of the hive is trying to make them all like that i don't know like I said. Yeah, they managed to do it right and wrong at the same time. Yeah. The stereotype is in-game, not necessarily the actual reality of the species. At least from what I've seen, it's a pretty nihilistic game. 
Yeah, but like the species exists entirely in game though, innit, Drake? You know what I mean? Anyway. Um, so they're the problematic elements of it that you gotta consider. Um, but there are other things in the game that are like extremely explicitly like they make it quite obvious that like slaves and owning slaves is wrong right you're allowed to do it it gives you the free will to do it in the game you can like you know put people in prison as you've seen um and choose whether to set them free or just like whatever i don't know if you can actually like enslave people in the game i don't know if that works like that but you can sell people into slavery which super sucks um but obviously it's 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 quite clearly made out to be like like the holy nation uh unequivocally bad like they are extremely bad and there's no way that you can like misread that the game is trying to tell you that they are bad and the main sort of like the one of the biggest factions in the game the united cities also own slaves and they are also unequivocally bad like some of the only good factions in the game are the Sheck, who are like the indigenous people and um the anti-slavers I like the hive mind species controlled by the leader brain creature trope, but I also think the actual way hive minds work is super cool. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. So anyway, that's just an explanation into like some of the races in the game and because like that that can always be like a rubbish thing when, when you're doing fantasy games and it's like, oh, here's the orcs. Like they're just fucking, you know, that's just us being racist. But like, you know, we decided to make like a new race and we gave them all the attributes of like bad stereotypes of like indigenous people or like black people you know we put all of our racism into this made up ma uh, all of our racism into this made up race instead of actually doing it uh you know and it's just like oh come on like you know it's, it's still not all right <laughs> um so yeah that's that and um what else can i tell you holy shit there is just so much to this game but yeah let's get, let's crack on with the mission so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send my ex-slaves over to the what do you call it the plastic surgeon just so they could change their names not so they could change their appearance but i'm also gonna send them with a experienced fighter or a couple of experienced fighters so i'm gonna send them with myself because I'm pretty fucking hard, and I've got a massive sword. Uh, and I'm pretty good at, like, healing and stuff. But then again, Lower Servant is also good at... The other Lower Servant is good at healing. So I'm going to drag me in there. And we're just going to go on a little journey. So let's get everyone. Turn off the jobs. So you can see everybody running around as well like that. I just want to explain this, right? Like, everybody's running around, and it looks like everything's really busy, and, and it's really, like intense this is actually extremely disorganized <laughs> i have like a couple of people who are doing like important things like yolando here is a cook and that's extremely important because you need to feed your peeps you need to feed your army and shit uh so we got like a big bread oven uh we got like uh the stoves and stuff where we make like uh rice and veg and sandwiches and shit and rations and we got the the this where we make bread and then we've got like over here is the clothing machine and if we need clothes obviously we'll make that and then we've got the research bench up here with like some more training stuff and we've got like an arrow making bench here which is important for because obviously we need you know crossbows and arrows and shit in fact i actually need to stop this because we've made way too many crossbows uh let's make some bolts at this station instead okay what are we making over here? Still crossbow parts? Okay, we'll make crossbow parts until we run out of hinges and bolts. Uh, hinges and steel. Okay. Alright. And then down here, we've got, like, the one of the main factories where we make a bunch of armor. So, I've got Plant here making a bunch of leather armor for the archers. Because I got that upgraded recently. We've got a crossbow bench here. Uh, we've got cabinets full of fucking weapons for the peeps. Got a bunch of armors, uh, a bunch of katanas and shit like that here. Um, we've got the medical workbench where we make our medicine and supplies and stuff like that. Uh, the mines and shit where we get, like, all the resources and what have you. And we got, like, some farms. And we got hydroponic farms in here as well. This is fucking sick. This is what I was talking about yesterday. Hydroponic farms. Gang. There's just so much shit. There's just so much shit going on in this game. It's so fucking dope. Uh, this was, like, initially meant to just be barracks. 
Uh, but it's kind of turned into like a hospital now. Uh, because that's really the only reason that you need beds. Uh, apparently your characters need to eat, but they don't need to sleep. Which doesn't make sense, but okay. No worries, Kenshi. That's fine. And uh, what else do we got here? Um, that's pretty much everything, really. That's pretty much everything. When a raid happens, I'll show you what happens when we do the defense. Um, it's pretty cool. We've got a pretty solid defense system, which is good. Because, oh boy, let me tell you, when you're first starting out, that fucking learning curve, it gets extra shit, and it's not good. Right, so. Let's get these lot. And I'm going to click this button here. You can't... In fact, I'm going to move this bar up here so that you can see properly. Um... You can't see some stuff that I'm covering as well, so I'm just going to, like, raise me up about there for the time being, just so you can see this. Your goal is to defeat the Holy Nation, so that's my goal. That's the goal that I've chosen. Um, it's not necessarily the goal that the game gives you. The game doesn't give you a goal. But that's the goal that I've chosen, obviously, because I'm a filthy leftist, I'm a dirty anarchist, and I care about the liberation of all people. Um, so, there's all this stuff under here as well. So when you when you select each character, check what you got here. You've got blood, head, stomach, chest, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. And that's the same for like pretty much every character, even um, slavers. Even slavers. Someone said that in the chat. <laughs> even slavers. Even though they're subhuman. No. Uh, even animals. So animals have like left foreleg, right foreleg, left arm, like left foreleg and shit like that. Um, so that's super interesting. I hope you rip the holy nation apart and free all that it oppresses. Oh, hell yeah. Like we've successfully done like a bunch of raids on like small settle settlements, like mining settlements where they've got slaves. Fuck it. We might even do a quick one of those today. Okay, I've got like I've got like an hour left of streaming, so I'm gonna run and change their names first. And then we'll set up the gang and we'll go on a quick mission and liberate some more slaves. This game runs okay with all these complex systems. I mean my PC is not that high end, but it is quite high end. So, you know, I got it like optimized for streaming and stuff like that. So I don't know. Sounds like every person can play a completely different game. Yes, you totally can. You totally can. Like, you don't have to, like, come out to the wilderness and build your own settlement or anything like that. You can just simply, like, um... Okay, these guys are just going to make their way to that place on the map on their own. Um, you could just simply, like, um, work in a town or city... Is there an option to let them name themselves, or do you pick? No, the AI isn't that good, unfortunately. Uh, it would be good if you could do that. But, like, I kind of like to think that, like... So, basically, if everybody in my party died and the ex-slaves were left, they would be, like, the main characters. So, in a way, you are every main character. So, it's like, I don't, like... Obviously, I am picking a name for him, and I, you know, <laughs> ex-slaves. You, you shouldn't be picking names for anybody. You should let people choose their own names. Um, but, you know. Well, I'll tell you what. We're streaming. Chat, why don't you name the two ex-slaves? Like, uh, everybody, think of some names. And they could just be as stupid or whatever as you want. They could be as stupid or as normal as you want. They don't have to be gendered or anything like that. Like, wh wh whatever you want them to be. Because, um... Rupert, that's a good one. I like that. Jerth Wide. Oh, that's really good. This game makes it that you actually lose intellect points if you choose to be racist. Wait, does it? I don't know if it does that. Oh, no, you don't have intellect points in this game. <laughs> Josephy, that's pretty good. Jaspers, I like that. Lump. Lump's a good game. Uh, a good name. God, my ADHD is just fucking popping off today. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm just gonna, like, direct these guys myself. Oh, I like Darling. That's nice. Oh, you were talking about Disco Elysium? Yeah, 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 yeah. That does happen in that game. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see a previous chat message now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh! 
Oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright, so this is not an ideal situation. Uh, these are skin spiders. Uh, four of these against three of these, against three of us. And one of our ex-slaves is not so good at fighting. How good are you at running? You're Athletics 36 and you're Athletics 60. Right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up this, this, this guy. And we're going to run like fuck. <laughs> we're just going to try and run like fuck. Um, okay. Let's go. Oh no, I'm not that fast. I'm not that fast carrying a whole person on my back. Yeah, Skin Spiders is an awful name for a creature. No, I'm not going to let him die. No, I'm outrunning him. Everything is fine. I'm fast enough. Uh, our other friend here, our other comrade, is also fast enough as well. Oh, this is great. This is phenomenal. Okay, this is a good this is a good outcome. So this is this is the Kenshi experience right here. Like you're witnessing it right now, chat. Like if you're thinking about buying Kenshi, like this is the first thing that you will come across. It'll either be like a wild animal that's gonna eat you alive, or you're gonna uh, you're gonna come come across um uh, like some slavers or just like a group of bandits that beats you up and steals your food and shit. Like, like this is the ultimate Kenshi experience. Like the only time that you're safe is when you're behind walls. It sucks. Um, why skin spiders? I got no idea. Maybe they like suck your skin off or something. I don't know. I one of one of my one of my comrades has like uh, a story. Like they joined us because they were like in a in a pub that we came across. We were resting in on one of our like raids and they were talking about how one of their comrades got died and they saw them like get their guts sucked out by a skin spider so it kind of sucked are you safe behind walls ah well not entirely yeah not entirely it depends which walls you're behind you know it's what we call nintendo hard N nintendo hard this game is a lot harder than some nintendo games i gotta say Mm. Maybe it's because they look like they got human skin. Yeah, I think you might be right. There is an implied... There is like an implied um, sort of law to this game that humans were fucking around with genetic modification. So I think maybe it's that like they've, they've got... Like they tried to give... Like in the post-apocalypse, the reason the apocalypse happened is because humans were fucking around with technology too much. Like it's not implied that it was a nuclear war, but it is implied... Well, I don't want to spoil anyone. I don't want to spoil anyone because I know a lot of stuff, but I don't want to... I don't want to spoil anyone to, like... Because there is, like, actual lore that you can find out in this game, and it's like, whoa, what the fuck? And a lot of the game and a lot of, like, finding technology to help your base and stuff like that is all about, like, um... Finding ancient technology. Of course humans fucked it up. Who else would have? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of Dune-y. Um, it's less like Dune. I mean, it is like Dune, but like there are ranged weapons in this. I almost listed the causes, but you're right. That's 100% in-game lore. Yeah, whack-ass mutants. That's right. Lots of wackiness out there. Yeah, it's not going to be Dashens that bring about the end of the world. That's too cute. That's true. That's true. Okay, I think we might be safe from uh, Skin Spider Pursuit for now. So I'm going to just like drop this guy. And now we're going to run together. Now that little button that I pus pushed there, I was trying to explain this earlier. Um, but like, so if I, if I do this button where it, there's like a black stick figure and a red stick figure, they basically run at the same speed. So that implies that like you follow each other. So your, your characters will run at the same speed as each other, and that's pretty nice. Um, but then if I choose this option, for example, they'll run at their own speeds, and as you can see, I'm much faster than both of them. So that's not really fair. Um, but you can get them all to just, like, walk. That's kind of at the same speed, so that's not really, like, too much of an issue. But it takes fucking ages to get anywhere, and it's really good to have a, a good athletic skill. Because uh, you're going to be running away for a lot of the game. <laughs> you know? Like, that's... Most of Kenshi is, like, running away from stuff. 
what this reminds me of is Anarchy Online. Wait, what the fuck is Anarchy Online? I never even heard of that. Nintendo hard generally refers to older Nintendo games like the NES era. Oh, yeah, you mean like fucking Ninja Gaiden and stuff. It's one of those games like Invest in Legs. Yes. Yes. Um, and an interesting note, a, a note about the Holy Nation that I uh, I missed out before. I'm gonna move my I'm gonna move my um, uh, my camera back to the original position because like yeah I've I've explained like most of this stuff that that's behind the camera it's like that's your health basically and you can like lose limbs and shit like that in this game so that's what I was gonna explain like if you lose a limb you can get a prosthetic uh, and you can like have uh, there is like the technology to make like really cool powerful prosthetics in this game which is dope and. An interesting note about the uh, Holy Nation is that they are also ableist in the fact that because they're so racist to skeletons, like if you have a skeleton in your crew, they will attack you on sight. If you have like a Hiver or a Shek in your crew, they will assume that they're like your slaves and they won't, they won't be bothered about that. But if you have a skeleton in your crew, they will attack them on sight and they'll attack you on sight for knocking around with a skeleton and they'll say that you're like possessed by skeletons and stuff. Um, and yeah, they're super racist to skeletons. And so, and in that regard as well, they're ableist as well, because if you lose an arm or a leg in battle and you replace that arm with a prosthetic, because that prosthetic technology that you use is the same as the skeletons, they will attack you on site as well. It's, uh, it's got a lot of, this game has got a lot of, um, you know, this is the thing. This is why it annoys me about the hivers that they made the hivers that way. Um, because you are like, there are so many like scenarios where it's like, you will be taught in this game that fascism is bad and wrong and that this faction is fascist, right? And it's like, you know, like that, like that is so obvious. Yeah. They're like bodily integrity as a vessel of God stuff. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Skeleton limb prosthetics. That's what it is. Yeah. So, like, for example, uh, one of my guys, uh, Silvershade, he's got a prosthetic arm. Um, where is Silvershade? There he is. So, like, if I go into his inventory and you check out limbs, he's got, like, one skeleton arm. In fact, I can actually upgrade that. I've got a better arm than that for him. Yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to change that out when I get a chance. Um, and one of my guys, Ark, has... Where's Ark? Where's Ark at? Is Ark a shooter? Oh yeah, Ark's a shooter. Ark's got a prosthetic leg. Oh, is it not Ark? Wait, is it Taco? Oh, it's Taco. Where the fuck is Taco? Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Taco's got a prosthetic leg. And that's like a masterwork leg. So it's really fucking sick. It's just super good. Super, super, super good. Um that you could just like have shit like that. Wait, no. Oh my God. I just tried to get Taco to like come out here. Okay. He's not going to do that. Okay. Thank God. That would have been really hard. Taco was a cool name. It's not spelled with a C. It's spelled with a K. Uh, so right. What were some of the suggestions? I liked that one that was like two words for one of them. Definitely. It was like something gyms, like Laffrey gyms. It's such a huge cast of characters, and that's that's the beauty of it. And I think that's another thing that like makes me think that the developers of Kenshi are like not pseudo fascists or anything like that, because every single um, person in this game has uh, the potential to have like a backstory, and so you're invested in like every single character. You know, is this guy the plastic surgeon? There we go. Okay. Right, brilliant. Okay, so first, first one. Yeah, Jerth Wide. Yeah, I really liked Jerth Wide. Yeah, we're calling this one Jerth Wide. What a great name. I love that. That's dope as fuck. So, brilliant. We got Jerth Wide. And the next one. Uh, what were some of the names? Let me scroll back up in the chat and see if I can miss them. Oh, okay. We got some good ones here. Rupert, Jaspers, Josephy, Lump. Right, now Lump 
really fits in well with like the law of uh of thingy of uh of kenshi so i'm gonna call this one lump i love that name it's so good yeah they have very very like star wars names like extremely star wars vibes names so cool we've got names for our ex-slaves they're no longer going to be referred to as ex-slaves but that's their backstory and it's cool as fuck right and we're going to be liberating more slaves this uh stream so that's a thing that's going on i'm just going to stop into this shop here now, you saw that there were multiple characters to speak to in that bar. And the bar is where you recruit people, basically. Um, but this person here is a construction trader. You could buy, like, construction things uh, and a bit of food and a bit of uh, agriculture stuff from this person. So that's pretty useful. Um, and in the bars, you could buy, like, food for your characters. Um, it would be cool if you could get them drunk, but you can't get them drunk. Uh, but, like, a commodity in these games is, like, uh, sake and rum and grog, shit like that. Now, I want to speak to that character over there because that character looks interesting. They might be a recruit. Oh, okay, so, no, so you will get, like, these diplomatic people in bars where if you, like, have a bad interaction with a faction and it was a mistake, you can, like, find these people and pay them, like... What is most often, like, a, a ridiculous amount of money uh, to smooth things over with the faction kind of thing. So it's like a bribe, basically. So you can find these bribe characters uh, all over the place. Who is this? Flick from the Tech Hunters, but you can speak to them. Looking for a merc. Right, so you can, if you're a solo character, you can hire some mercenaries to walk you to certain locations so if you need to make like a big journey across like you know two different factions and there's going to be bandits on the way and shit like that you've got to like you know basically hire mercenaries because you, maybe you're not going to be able to like you know afford people to work with you or like maybe the people that you're with you don't have the resources to train them up that well so you got to spend money basically hiring mercenaries so like if you go i'm going to hire some bodyguards uh, two cats, 2,000 cats per day, one day minimum charge, no refunds. So, like, you can hire them for, like, two days for 4,000 cats. So, it's not too bad. Like, 4,000 cats sounds like a lot, but it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. Two days worth of mercenaries is really, really good. You can automate the map travel. Never automate the map travel. Yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah, don't do that. Like, I tried to do that earlier, and, and I realized, like, why am I doing this? Like, I'm not, I shouldn't be doing this. It's too hard. Right, so... Let's head to the base again. And we're going to get everybody together for a big raid. And we're going to head to the Holy Nation. And we're going to fuck them up. All right. See you later, Sorka. Cats as currency? Hell yeah. That's what we want. That's what we want. Right. Let's go, gang. Let's go, girls. So it's funny. You can see, like, what your... Um, peeps are doing off in the distance sometimes. Like, you'll see, like, a little thing go, boop. It'll be, like, eight food. Or, like, you know. It'll be, like, someone saying something like, it's out of resources, you know. Fuck them up. Yeah, we're gonna fuck them up. The skin spider incident, that and worse will happen, as you will not be there to prevent the slaughter. As Mueller's mentioned, the AI is pretty dumb. If not dumb, definitely suicidal. My guys have done really stupid stuff in the past. So who have we got here? We've got hungry bandits. So sometimes these guys will attack you. Sometimes they'll have a little look at you and they'll be like, yeah, you're too strong. And they'll just leave you alone. Um, but then they're nine times out of ten out to like get food. And it kind of sucks that, like, you don't have any option to be diplomatic with them. Like, you can't just, like, give them food. But, um... Oh, they might actually be trying to attack me. Oh, yeah, they are trying to attack me now. Yeah. I mean, like, I could just fight them. Like, I'll, I'll absolutely destroy them, though. Like, even... Even Jerth and, and Lump will, like, kick the fuck out of them. Okay, well, you know, they're asking for it. So, all right, if you want, you know... Yeah, it's annoying that you can't give him food, because I totally would. 
just drop food while you run. I don't actually have any food on me. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I wonder if I'm actually going to be able to, like, handle this on my own. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah I'm fine. So it's really cool. Like, the, the combat dynamics are so fucking sick. Like, I'm just going to let um, Jerf and Lump take these out on their own because I want... I know I need to train Lump. Like, Lump is, like, below level 30 for attack. So I need to train Lump up. But Jerf is, Jerf is really skilled. And she can use, like, cool fucking big swords and shit. So, if we now get everyone together, now, I think Lump is a medic. Yeah, they're both medics, actually, so they'll both, like, heal people. They'll both, like, heal each other. Or, like, just members of the party and stuff like that. Hopefully those guys don't die. Like, are they gonna die? Unconscious. Oh, those guys, yeah, that guy's gonna die. So, like, you can be nice. I'm gonna be nice to these guys, because I don't feel like it's fair that they just, like, die because they're hungry and shit. Uh, I'm gonna get my guys to, like first aid them you know it's like not fair that they just die because they like they wanted to eat so like we're gonna save that one guy from dying but the rest of them are just like unconscious so we're just gonna hightail it out of here before they like wake up so yeah did lump just teabag that bandit oh hell yeah <laughs> like the ai is ridiculous it's like drake says the ai is so stupid sometimes it's just funny uh, but right, here we go. So, like, stuff like that will just happen all the time. Like, this game is designed to, like, load scenarios on uh, your party rather than, like, you know, random areas in the game world and stuff. So, things will just happen around you as and when. It's not like you can just avoid that shit all the time. So, we are going to make our way back to the base. I remember the first time I ever, like, came to the swamp. I thought it would be a good idea to come to the swamp to settle. Because I thought, oh, we'll be able to farm here, right? Um, and, um, I came to the swamp. And the first thing that happened to me is I came across these disgusting things called blood spiders. And they're exactly like the skin spiders. But they're just, like, blood colored. They're, like, red. So, it was not ideal. They killed me straight away. I had to reload. And uh, and I learned a, a very valuable lesson about the swamps. Is that, yeah, it, just because, you know, there's a fertile area in the game. That should make you even more wary of that area. Because, you know, that's where a lot of wildlife is going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's like Florida. It's, it's, it's literally exactly like Florida. Yeah. Start calling your backyard spider planes. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's about right, to be honest. Okay, so we'll let these lads in through the airlock. In we go. Alright, sweet. Now. Oh, I also just got a new guy called Infinite Wing Wang. Which is like... What the fuck? <laughs> like, what kind of a name is that? But I thought it was pretty... Uh... I thought that was pretty in interesting. Very Kenshi, definitely. Um, hey, Lyra, welcome back. What's going on? Yeah, we're doing Kenshi now. We're doing a lot of Kenshi. Infinite Wing Wang was my uh, uh, nickname in high school. Oh, yeah. Infinite Wing Wang is the, the name of my sex tape, actually. Okay, so. Right. We are gonna now... That'll make it popular. <laughs> um, we're going to get everybody together. We're going to get everyone together who is going to come with us on the raid. So, first of all, let's get the squads set up. So, I'm going to rename this squad to Raid Crew. The Raiding Crew. I have to finish the assignment, so I'm going to lurk from now on. Oh my god, the game looks so cool. Hope you stream it again sometime. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna. Gotta get Infinite Wing Wang in there. To be honest, Infinite is, like, not at the level that I need people to be to face the Holy um, Nation. Because the Holy Nation are, like, extremely good at fighting. Like, that's all they do. They're literally just fascists, and all they do is fight all the time. Like, I have this one guy in here. 
Oh shit, I think one of my prisoners died. I can I can hear I can hear I can hear buzzing. That guy has died. Why did we not heal that guy? What happened to him? What the fuck? Okay, that sucks. And that guy need, needs food as well. Okay, anyway, we'll deal with that in a bit. But this guy's attack is like 73. Wait, what is that in maths? 75. This guy's this guy's attack is 75. So, you know, my my highest warrior preen her attack is like 51 and below that soto and sons their attack is like 41 to 46 so i can't take like i can't take infinite because his attack is like 25 <clears throat> so i didn't forget to feed him no it kind of sucks anyway let's get the guy let's get the guys uh all sorted so in fact maybe i did forget to feed him let's just grab wait hot longs is still on that Oh, hot longs is still on that fucking. Oh no. How do we get you off, babe? Like what? I think I'm just gonna have to like delete this section of wall to get her off. Okay, that works. <laughs> Can you actually like get there? Oh, okay, we're gonna have to rebuild it. We're gonna have to rebuild that somehow and like make it less annoying. Hang on, let me just real quick sort this out, because otherwise I'll forget about it, and then that'll be annoying as fuck. Defensive wall? What if I do that like that? Will that work? Oh my, oh my god, the building is so scuffed. The building is so scuffed in this game, chat. Like, it's... <laughs> oh my god, okay, yeah, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Okay, we're doing that. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Does this get overwhelming when you get so many people? It gets a little bit overwhelming, yeah. But what I've realized is that, like, if you have, like, enough people making weapons and making armor and making food and medical supplies and stuff like that, that you don't really need to, like, micromanage that many people and you can just let people, like, chill in your base and it's fine. Yeah, good old Kenshi Jank. She appreciates my, uh... Yeah, she does appreciate my, uh, my shit. Right, okay, let's get these peeps suited and booted for war. Um, so we're gonna get... Let's have a little look. Um, what else do we got? Um... Okay. I just got Andy uh, DMing me, telling me he's going to be a bit late. So we can stream a bit longer. We can stream Kenshi a bit longer. Um, so let's get everybody together in the in the squad. Right, so I'm going to take... I've ordered these guys in how good they are at combat. So I know Lump needs to train still. So I'm going to stick Lump into the training crew. And Jerf has graduated in training, but I don't think she's strong enough to join us directly on a raid so what level is she uh she's 33 so 33 let's take a little look chad is 32 so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine and me would be 10 so actually actually she can join us okay so yeah so all right so jerf is gonna join us on the uh, on the attack which would be cool because that'll be a nice little bit of revenge for her for being enslaved for so long so, we're going to keep me. We're going to keep Jerf. We're going to take Preen, Soto, Sons, Flimb, Skongus Fawn, Krupp, uh, uh, Hamut, uh, and Kat. And I think that's it for infantry. We only need a small crew because it's going to be like a... It's going to be a tiny, tiny mining operation that we're going to go and, uh, and raid. And then archers, we're going to take Green, who is our top archer, Rooker, Brain, Hotlongs, who you've already met, Masaru, Heroin, Crank, Ark, uh, Fall. See what I mean about like Lump being like a totally like that fits in with the, the lore of it? Because I've, I've only given these like some names. 
but like fall is legit just like a name that like that they just gave me that name when i found that character like that was just it uh and plant and then along with them i'm gonna send john i gave all the anim animals just like normal names because i just think it's really funny when animals have like normal human names so we're gonna take john in fact no we're gonna we're gonna take dave because <coughs> and we're gonna take aaron as well because aaron is like our war dog and always comes with us when we go on war and shit like that oh grundle would be a perfect name i agree shafiq yeah definitely uh oh hang on i've put them in the wrong crew raiding crew dave and aaron like dave is a bull and uh bulls have like huge high damage so just in case the animals get attacked they can defend themselves as well so we've got the raiding crew all set up we're gonna get them to assemble outside the armory and we'll get them all suited and booted ready to go this is a bit of a pain in the ass this bit where you like have to micromanage everybody it gets a little bit stressful it gets a little bit annoying but once you get used to it it's a bit of a simple process so for example they're all wearing gas masks and the reason that they're all wearing gas masks is because when there are dust storms in this environment it takes your combat skill down to zero because you can't fucking see so i have that on them so that they can like basically avoid being blinded by dust when we get attacked yeah you do have to suit them up individually but they're all mostly already ready for battle because these guys i take them out on raids all the time um so let's start we basically just gotta get rid of that um and give her a helmet there you go so that's cool we'll put that in there and we'll put her over there Soto, it's your turn. So yeah, this is just like the most annoying bit. And like when they have like stuff in their inventory as well and you've got to like move that too, that can be a bit stressful. But it's a bit, you know, when you get into like a little bit of a groove, it gets a little bit relaxing. What's Soto doing? Where's Soto? Oh, she's like all the way over here. What are you doing, babe? What the fuck? Okay, never mind. Uh, sons. Oh, she's hungry. She went for food. Okay, sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> Uh, let's get rid of that rock. And let's get this. So, yeah. This is, this is like, the bit of the, uh, this is like the grind in Kenshi. Like, this and training characters is, like, the most annoying thing. But it's just, like, re it's realistic. So, it's like, I don't know how much I can complain about it, you know? Okay, that's Flim. Skungus. Get a helmet on you. Um, Krup. Let's get a helmet on you. I don't know if I like or hate that. You and Sophie calling people babe has rubbed off on me. Oh, hell yeah. Because, like, here's the thing, yeah. I don't know if you're British, Lyra, but, like, as British people, we call people mate all the time, innit? And that's not really good if you're, like, you know, wanting to be gender neutral or, like, you know, speaking to women uh, it could be especially upsetting for trans people. So, like, you know... I think, like, you know, calling people babe is just, like, a nice, like... Media... Like, instead of calling people mate, just call them babe. I think that's fine. Unless, like, someone is, like, obviously, like... Has made it, like, clear to you that they're fine with being called mate, you know? Are there goblins or goblin-like enemies in this game? Not really. The closest thing that I've come to that are like goblins are, are, are these things called gurglers. And they're just like fish guys. But they are like indiscriminate cannibals and they'll just eat you alive if they catch you. So that's not ideal. Is matey neutral? I wouldn't say so. No, I don't think so. Piratey, not gendered? Nah, because if I say matey in the UK, like... That's that's definitely like boys, hundred percent. Uh, cat. Now there's a bit of a difference that occurs. The reason that it's good to do it individually as well, not just because like, you know, it's like real life or whatever, making excuses for bad game design. Um. Another reason that it's good to do it individually is because archers 
and infantry need different pieces of armor to be effective. So for example, if I hover over the masked helmet, you'll see there that it has a perception bonus of minus five, right? Um, and that will affect your crossbow skills incredibly badly. So the crossbow peeps, the archers, instead of giving them a, a metal helmet, we actually give them a chain mail hood, which is pretty fucking cool, to be honest. Uh, let's get rid of that. It's not great for bows, that's right. On the lads' bird scale, it's definitely more towards lads, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, the mate thing is cute, but North Americans basic bitches about that sort of thing. Wait, what do you mean? What does that mean? Uh, okay, so green is our first archer that we're gonna um, that we're gonna outfit. So, and you'll notice as well that you have to have specific different types of clothing for some different races like they have different bodies so hivers need a specific type of hiver shirt you know we like the accents and quirks of language that are different to ours oh yeah 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 sure 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 for sure yeah 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 you just gotta remember that like these things can be gendered you know that's that's the main thing that i would say to you just like remember that they're gendered uh so green he needs a hood a Karuta Zukin, as they're called. I'm not sure, like, where that comes from. Oh, no, actually, because he's a hiver, he can't wear it. And there are, there are different types of hivers as well. There are princes, drones, and soldiers. And, of course, there's, like, a queen and a Praetorian. But I don't think you could, like, hire... Uh, either hire or, like, um... I don't know. What would it be? What You can't recruit pr Praetorians or queens into your... Uh, into your party, so that kind of sucks. So I have a special uh, hood made for um, green, and because he's got such a high, sorry, because they've got such a high crossbow skill, uh, they don't have, um, it doesn't affect him. This like debuff here, it says crossbow effect 0.90 times, and that literally just does not affect green at all. So like if you see his scat stats and stuff, his scats, his stats, it's like his crossbows are just like 76 and it's fine. So there's green. Uh, Rooker. Let's get Rooker's hood. Drop off some of this hemp. Yes, we are making hash, by the way. We are making hash, if you can see there. We got 432 kilos of hash in storage. I don't know why we've got that much hash. Uh, we're not selling it. It's incredibly difficult to sell, but we've got a lot of it. Uh, so, you know, if we ever need it, 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 it's there. <laughs> um, yeah, the Mad Max jackets are specifically for the archers as well. Yeah, our army uh, uh, runs on hash, literally. Yeah, it literally does that. Um, so, let's drop that off and get her a hood. You got the proper commune supplies? That's right. That's right, you need you need that you need that weed. Oh <laughs> 420, smoke it. Smoke it. <laughs> That's what happens. Oh, you choke when you have it because it's it's choky weed. Um Hot Lungs. We're nearly done, chat. This this grueling part of the game is nearly done. Thank you for your patience. Oh yeah, 69 puff that. That's right. That's exa that's exactly it. That's the meme right there. Oh fuck. Hold up. Get hooded up. Hoodies on. Crossbows loaded. Ready to go. Uh, and of course, I have to mention as well that all my crossbow gang are trained in close combat as well. Because you can't be too careful in Kenshi because you'll just get fucking killed if you're not careful. You're the patient one, so much clicking. I, you know, it's kind of therapeutic, I find. 
that's the thing. It, it feels kind of therapeutic after a while. You're just like, oh, this is nice. It's fun. Like, fun little bit of the game. You know, like, there are so many people who think that, like, some things are bad game design. And I know that I said that earlier as well, but it's like, how much can you attribute to, like, people just not enjoying a certain thing? Like, I was thinking about this before. I was thinking about, like, how people have, like, just made this game and then left it and they don't really do any updates for this game anymore. And then I was just like, wait, hang on a minute. Like, it, it, like you know, if someone just makes a game and then leaves it, but people, like, enjoy it still, who's to say that they need to update it? Like, people will make mods for it and stuff like that. And, like, yeah, you can't rely on the modding community, but, like, if people still enjoy it and it's, like, whatever. Wait, why is Chad not sorted. Oh, why is Chad just here? Chad just, like, came running over. Like, what the fuck happened just then? That's annoying. Wait, why has Jerf not got a, a, a helmet on? What the fuck? Yeah, it's all about the feel and vibe. Yeah, I agree. Like, Dorfromatic, but with sudden bursts of John Carpenter as the thing. Okay, I've never played Dorfromantic, but uh, I've heard people talk about that game, and apparently it's really good. Um... Okay. Masterwork helmet for Jerf. You get the good shit, Jerf. Uh, let's drop that. Uh, Plant is a weaponsmith and so has like a bunch of weapons on them. And like, I need to get rid of that and find their bow again. Uh, but let's get your hood real quick. Uh, let's sort that out. He's all, they're also wearing like a dyed turtleneck. And I don't know why you're wearing that. We need to get that sorted. We'll sort that out as soon as we can. All right, but we got everybody outfitted. Now, we just got to make sure we got enough food for the journey. Because we're going to be traveling up way past where we were at the way station there. We're going to be heading past Squint, the hub. And we're going to be heading to these holy mines right here. That's where we're going. That's our target. We're going to liberate some slaves. Like, see, look how many holy mines they got and how many holy farms. Like, you can, like, liberate so many people from this, like, disgusting faction. <clears throat> like these red ones that we've already been to. We've only been to two. And they just got so many. And it's really shit. Anyway. Uh, where was I just then? Okay, where the fuck is Soto? Yo, what's Kring doing? What you up to, man? What is Kring doing? Oh, he can't fit like certain things in his inventory. Okay, fair enough. Dothramanic is chill as fuck. Just matching tiles together, making cute little towns. Oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know some of the deaths of Dorfromantic? That's cool. I love that shit. Okay, so it was there. Where's Aaron? Aaron needs to be here too. Okay, yeah, we got everybody here. So Dave is going to be the main... Um... Oh, Dave's just got like a bunch of stuff on him. We need to get some stuff off Dave. Dave, what have you got here, bro? Uh, ninja rags. Let's get rid of that. That, that, that. We'll just dump all that in there for now. Some iron plates. Okay, right. So there's every chance that we're going to need someone to have some backpacks. So we're going to take some backpacks. There's every chance that we could get assaulted in the wild. So we're going to take these sleeping bags. Um, that's all we need in that regard. We're going to take a bunch of Gohan. Because we need to feed the troops. And we're going to take some ration packs because they last for longer. Okay, you never know what's going to happen. All right, we got that. And now we're going to get the shooters ammoed up. So Green here has two different types of crossbow because he is a very skilled crossbow person. Sorry, I keep saying he, but like it's the, it's they. Sorry. Uh, so they've got the eagles crossed and they've got the old world bow. So we're going to get a bunch of ammo for both of them. For them. And we're also going to pile up Dave with a bunch of ammo too. Um, yeah, do you know what? I might as well take all of it. Because I can always just like put it back at the end. Now, do you remember what we were talking about now this is this is the best okay so this is what i was talking about with like how kenji's got like political things in it so you see how we're like loading up our pack animal here in order to like get our army to to a certain place and 
They have to have a certain amount of ammo. They have to have food. They have to have beds. They've got to have backpacks. This is the logistics shit that, I, that we were talking about. So, like, even when we're thinking about planning, obviously, we're not planning on sending armies anywhere. But, like, in terms of, like, how to look after people and how logistics works and how activism works, you know, this is all in Sun Tzu's The Art of War as well. Like, you need a certain amount of food for animals that you're taking with you and a certain amount of food and medicine for your troops and beds and shit like that. Like, it's just so much. It's so much. It's so fucking much, honestly. But, like, this is it. It's all It's all in there. It's all in there. Stuff that we've, that we've learned along the way. You know? Right. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ammo up everybody. Hold up. Yeah, Gohan is, is rice. Yeah, it's not just like Dragon Ball guy. He got into the hash. <laughs> Had like a two-hour chat with one of them about biome generation. I don't think they really needed your help for that one. That's cool as fuck. Are you doing game dev as well, Nierkanoids? I think that you said that you were doing game dev. Um, okay. Okay, we've also got some leather turtlenecks that we've just made as well. And I want to give them to our like... Uh, our top archers because they don't have full body coverage with their armor right now and that sucks so let's oh i can't do that with green because they're a hiver but rooker needs a new one so let's swap out that leather shirt for a leather turtleneck don't know why leather turtleneck is like uh more armor i don't know why i don't know why a turtleneck is more than a shirt like a bit the name doesn't make sense the turtlenecks normally have, like, long sleeves. Is that what that's about? I just don't know. I simply do not know. Neck protect. That's what it's all about, to be honest. You need that neck protect. Protect your neck. Uh, okay, so that's all of them that we could do right now. But I remember one of them had a rubbish cloth one that doesn't offer any protection. So let's get rid of that. And let's give them a leather shirt. Okay, so at least they got better protection. Right, okay. And we've got to make sure that they are ammoed up still. Wu-Tang Clan coming at you, exactly. Oh my god! Kira, you've arrived at an incredibly important time. We're about to go and destroy some slavers. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Please, please, please go show some love to Kira Chats, my gang. I know that most of you, we have a lot of cross-pollination and shit like that with our streams and stuff. But please, please, please go show us some love. How are you doing, Kira? What's going on? Beautiful, sweet Kira. Welcome in. I hope you had a lovely raid, uh, a lovely stream today. Um, gang, I know we can't we can't do the shout-out. I'm sorry, Chloe. Uh, there's something wrong with my bot. I can't fix it on stream. I'm not going to do it. Ugh. It's too much. Uh, but please go follow Kira Chats. I'm just going to like do... Yeah, API error. That's right. API error. Yeah. I'm just going to do this in the chat. Don't worry, Shafiq. I got it. I got it sorted. I got it sorted. There you go. Go follow Kira Chats. There's a link to, there's a link to her stream in the chat. Go give her a follow. Uh, but welcome in everybody. Oh, Shafiq got it straight away. Welcome everybody from Kira Chat Stream. If you don't know me, my name is DJ Mule. I am a leftist political streamer. My pronouns are he, him. I also stream a little bit of gaming content from time to time. And I'm exceptionally excited for Kira to be here for this game that I've decided to stream. Because we're streaming Kenshi. Now you might be asking Kira, what the fuck are you talking about Mule? I've never heard of this game in my life. Well, I know that you just started playing Mount and Blade Bannerlord. And if you like that game, you're going to enjoy this game too because it's extremely similar. It's extremely similar. Uh, and these are my guys. These, these are my comrades. This is our fucking uh, anarcho-commune settlement where we don't make everybody work. You work if you want to do it. And we, are, we defend ourselves against the fascist nation of the holy nation on a daily basis. And we're literally about to send a big gang there to go and liberate some slaves. 
Um, because that's a whole thing that you could do in this game. Is this multiplayer with real people, though? No. You can't do multiplayer in Kenshi. Not at all. Prepare to ban a mob. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much shit. There's so much shit going on. Are the cute communists named after chatters? No, because I've been playing this game in my um, free time a lot. And I've got to this point on my own. It says it's an anarcho commune, commune has walls. Hmm. Yeah, but like, listen. You think that, like, just having an anarcho-commune, you're not gonna get attacked by, like, fascists and bandits and shit in the apocalypse? Oh my god! You gotta have it. You gotta have that wall. You know? Not to keep people out that you wanna let in, who are not refugees, but to keep out the fucking fascists who are trying to destroy you. It sucks. Hashtag not all walls. You know? There are bread-stealing ninjas in this game, that's right. There are literally bread stealing ninjas. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Yeah, the swamp ninjas, they'll attack you. The uh, the bandit, the dust bandits, uh, the band of bones, you know, you know, it's one of those. Uh, so anyway, we're just in the, we're just in the, in the, it, this bit's a little bit boring. There's a bit of micromanagement in this game, but we're just in the process of like gearing everybody up for battle. So we're getting ammunition for our archers right now. Um, and you can see that like, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know. No, you don't debate fascists in this game. You fucking kill them with a big sword. That's how this game works. <laughs> you bought this game five years ago and hated it and it looks so much more functional now. Yeah, the game, the game was one of those early access games that actually ended up looking a lot better. Like, Frazo's here as well and Frazo says that it is, like, looking a lot better. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Um... So yeah, I'm trying to like link the stuff, some stuff in this game to conversations that we've been having in chat about like, um, you know, the logistics and shit like that when it comes to um, helping activists when they go on, you know, long marches or like, you know, uh, if you're doing like an autonomous zone, if an autonomous zone happens in your area and how to like support them and stuff like that. Um, you know, because there's a lot of, like, logistics involved in this game. You have to feed your army. They don't just, like, exist on their own. So you can see uh, Hot Long's here, for example. She's one of our archers, and she's got uh, a big bowl of Gohan. That's super, super important. And uh, we have to, like, we're basically utilizing uh, an animal. Obviously, this isn't very vegan, I know. You do have the option of using, like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, backpacks for your soldiers. They could just take their stuff in their backpacks if you want. If you want to do, like, a proper, um, you know, vegan playthrough, you could totally do a vegan playthrough in this game. Um, a lot of animals do attack you, though, so that is a bit of a problem, but you can just run away from them, so that's fine. Um, oh, man, someone redeemed the long wig. Yeah, I'm not doing the long wig anymore, Rob. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I gotta remove that from the, uh, from the thing. Yeah, that's the, a, a bit of a problematic redeem that I had, uh, that I didn't think about properly. And yeah, we're, mo we're removing that. Uh, excuse me. What can we do to get the upside down mouth face? What do you mean this? There you go. Was there a long wig incident? Uh, no, it's just transphobic. It's just transphobic and I didn't think about it. You know, like putting on a long wig because it's funny. Not good. Not a good, not a good look, you know? So uh, yeah, I had a bit of a self-reflection moment and uh, yeah, just got rid of that. So anyway. You can also Naruto run with 100 pounds of solid coke past the theocratic fascist city guards, and that's a good time. Yeah, you can do a lot of that shit. It's fucking fun as fuck in this, uh, in this, uh, in this game. There's so many fun elements to it. But anyway, we're talking about the fun stuff. We can do some fun stuff in a minute. I've just got to, like, I've just got to, like, arm up all my peeps. Um, okay, so I think six lots of bolts for everybody. Got to get a million point redeem for full drag. Yeah, but you see, I feel like that would be, like, a little bit transphobic as well, because I'm not, like, a, an actual drag artist and shit, and, 
I don't know. I just feel like that's problematic, you know? I don't know. It's, it just Maybe I'm overthinking it, but... No, it's not a normal wig, yeah. It, yeah, I gotta remove that from my uh, from my thing, you know? Yeah, as if men can't break gender norms and grow that shit out. That's exactly right, yeah. That shit is, is totally doable. Right, so we're getting all... of the ammo right now. And that's almost everybody sorted. And, okay, that's pretty much everybody sorted. Now we gotta make sure that everybody's got meds and the right weapons. You saving your points for a doodle? Oh, uh -huh, yeah, about that. Yeah, about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Like, I, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, look, you know, I got ADHD. My excuse is that I got ADHD and I totally forgot that like, you know, I got to remove these things from my uh from my from my channel points rewards. Yeah, I'm sorry. I listen, if it makes you feel any better, I wouldn't even do art for people if they gave me money nowadays because I, I just don't have the time i just don't have the time it's about not having the time and it's about how like when i would do art streams people would just like stop watching my stream and stuff so it, th there's all that shit so yeah I, I apologize it's it's not a good look sweaty you know i have had a time of it panda bibble you're right i have uh someone said in the chat earlier new video yes uh my new video is gonna be up tomorrow at 5 p.m uk time however if you are a um tier two or three patron on my patreon you can access that video now so make sure that you go and do that um give me money i need money this is my job i'm doing my job right so green's all good rook is all good brain uh hot lungs masaru heroin wait can i switch out heroin's katana because that's not good enough i don't think yeah i can oh sick all right brilliant yeah that's good uh, Hrenk. Actually, I want to give I want to give her a, a Wazakashi instead because it's smaller and that might be out inside weapon stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, Hrenk is all good. Ark is all good. Let's change that katana out for a Wazakashi. Uh, socials, socials, Chloe. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you got to do the socials command for that. There you go. Nightbot API broke as fuck today. Well, I, will that work if the API thing is broke? Hold up. Oh no, that works. That command works. Yeah, it's just when I do like uh, shout outs and shit. No, I don't have a Patreon command or a <clears throat> or a commands command. This is what I'm saying about I need to work solid for like three months and then have like a four week break. Like, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, stream four days every week for, for three months and make a video every week for three months and then have a four-week break and then redo everything over two weeks and then have two weeks of actually just, like, doing nothing, right? No, but, like, I should keep my commands consistent with what, like, a lot of people have, Chloe, and I agree there should just be, like, a commands command, you know? So, yeah, that, that sucks. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, that's a good plan, right? It's annoying that I already had, like, four weeks off, but that was, like, because of COVID. So that sucked. It didn't count, you know? Uh, Fall has a katana, so let's change that. Um, to a Wazakashi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Switch that out. And Plant, what have you got? Okay, Plant is, like, our weapons manufacturer, so sometimes Plant's... Uh, her weapons get fucked up, and she, like, has the, the wrong weapons and shit. Uh, 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 okay, that's what I want. I want a Wazakashi for her and put them away and we need a bow. Mark two specialist. There we go. Wait, we got a masterwork one? Masterwork one for plant. That's fucking right. Uh, also plant is a big lady and I know some people like that. We got a lot of big ladies in our crew to be honest. Plank is a big Sheck lady. She is very beautiful. I love her. 
What mule, uh, mule, what film are we watching first on movie night? I think we'll watch Dune first, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to find the time when your business is online content. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Uh, okay, so now I need to make sure that the medics have enough medicine for people. Okay, so we got splints. Preen's got splints and medicine. Uh, Flimp has got splints and medicine. That's good. Krupp, I know, is a medic. Why have you got... Oh, because you're a, you're a crossbow smith. Right, okay. I was like, why have you got a crossbow and bolts? You could give those to Dave. Give them to Dave. Yeah, there you go. She's very strong. June 1st was two weeks ago? Wait, what do you mean? Every time I see your stream, I'm absolutely blown away by the majesty of your facial hair. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, hold up, though. What am I doing now? Why is my brain stopped working? Someone gave me a compliment and my brain stopped working. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing, uh, yeah, Krupp needs, uh, Krupp needs medicine. Krupp's a medic. Come on. Come on, Krupp. Right, you get them too. And that, that's great. Ah, we also need to give that to Dave. Right, so we've got 20 sleeping bags now. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I like compliments, it's fine. Did you set up the movie night command? I did not yet, no. What a surprise. Look, how, how am I even a streamer, really? When it comes down to it. Absolutely absurd. <clears throat> okay, so our next uh, is Hammett. Hammett's got some meds, that's great. Jerth's got a bit of meds, that's fine. Hotlongs has got meds, that's all good. Oh wait, that's brain. And Hotlongs have got meds, that's great. Heroin's got meds. Clank's got meds. Okay, this is all good. Yeah, we're all sorted. We've got enough food, we've got meds, we've got ammo. Uh, I just need food for the animals. And this guy eats rotten flesh. So we're going to take a bunch of rotten flesh for him. And the dog. Okay. Right. It's time to mobilize. It's time to go. It's time to go and liberate some slaves. Let's fucking do this, gang. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, check Lump just chilling there still. Go do some work if you want. You misheard the name of the movie? Oh, we're watching Dune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're watching David Lynch's Dune. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for the follow as well, by the way. Thank you for all the followers after the raid. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Oh, my God. Someone is honking up a storm outside. All right. Have we got everyone from the raiding crew? Where the fuck is Sons? What are you doing, babe? Okay. See you later. Is, how's Hotlong's, like, food going? Because she was, like, trapped on that ledge for so long. Okay. Never mind. No, it's not my ride. No, no. Uh, Andy would... Uh, Andy is, like, gonna message me when he gets here. Where are you going? Babe, there's, like, a whole fucking bowl with food. Right here. Right next to you. Like, the AI in this game is so fucking stupid sometimes. Right, have that bowl of Gohan. Right, there you go. Okay. Right. Cheekies. Raiding crew, move out. It's time to go. All right, so what we're doing, chat. Wait, why is that shutting? Oh, did I just shut that? Oh, that's stupid. <clears throat> yeah, we need a 20-foot walk for this uh, commune, to be honest. Used to stream art doing... <clears throat> I got incredibly bored so quickly I couldn't listen to podcast music, books while I did the art, because streaming, you have to pay a little attention to chat. Yeah, and, and that's, the, that's, the, that's the annoying thing about being a, a creative streamer. <clears throat> is that if you enjoy the aspect of streaming that is like, you know, chat interaction, it's just not going to work. You know what I mean? You, you, you just lose a lot of chat interaction. Right. So. Let's fucking go. I'm going to speed this up because watching people move across the map is like a little rough. I'm also going to save scum a little bit here. Setting off. You can see I've got a bit of uh, save scum. Save game names in the chat. 
Uh, not in the chat, in the uh, the load screen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So some, as I was saying before, some characters have like unique dialogue lines and unique responses to those dialogue lines. This is why I can't get too mad at Kenshi being a little underdeveloped because there is so much in this game. So this character has started a conversation and I don't know where the conversation started, but you could go to dialogue and find out what's going on. So here we go. So they've set off and Flim is like singing a song. And Skungus is going, what is this? And is like, it's a song I'm, I'm humming. And Skungus is like, I don't care about it. And Flim is like, maybe if I think about swords and heads being chopped off, I'll have your approval. So now they're having a little, they're having a little, a little bit of banter. A little bit of banter on the road. You know? It's pretty cute. And Skungus is like, yeah, I'd love that. But don't do a wobbling voice. You mean the singing, the part of the song. I think it's implied that like the, the Shek don't really have like the same kind of singing as like humans and stuff. So they have like a different kind of singing. Like they more do like chants and shit, which is pretty interesting. But again, I don't know how, how far the problematic nature of that goes. You know what I mean? They want poetry. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yo, see you later, Liz. No worries. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. You can always uh, you can always have a quick vent in the Discord and shit like that. But thank you so much for being here. Take it easy. See you soon. But yeah, you gotta do you gotta do what's right for you, you know. All right, so we're speeding these lads up the road here. And eventually we're going to get to this place, the border zone. And I don't think we need to make a stop off at, at, at Squin or anything like that. Like, we're not, we don't need any... Like, hopefully we're not going to get attacked. Because that would be the only reason that we would need to stop off. Like, sleeping bags... The, re the main reason I'm taking sleeping bags... I know that I said before that my... My gang don't, like, your, your troops don't need to sleep for some reason. I don't know why they didn't add that into the game. Um, but in real beds, they absolutely, like, heal a lot faster. But sleeping bags are, like, there to, like, help them heal, basically. Okay, how do I, like, get up here? How do I go to where I want to go? Like, where's the right way to go? I guess I'll just have to, like, follow the road. Yeah, I just got to follow the fucking road. Oh, here's the road here. Okay. I think I can click on that. Yeah, there's a channel to vent in the, uh, in the Discord. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Desperately in love with the, with the ridiculousness of this game. There's so much stuff. Wait! Why is Cat under attack? What's going on? What's happening? Who's this attacking us? There are starving bandits after us? When did that happen? Okay, it looks like, I don't think, I think we're gonna outrun them. Like, I don't think we need to worry about starving bandits. Oh, they're fighting somebody else. Who are they fighting? Are these just like wild Garus? Oh yeah, they're just wild Garus. Well, I mean, hopefully they like kill one of them for like food. Because that would suck if they, like, get killed by these Garus. Yeah, like, I would love to feed them Panda Bibble, but, like, you don't really have the option to, like, talk with them or anything like that. They just, like, attack you. It kind of sucks. I hope they kill the Garus so they get some meat. You know? At least they can eat then. Alright, we're carrying on with the journey. Oh, wait, they're, like, legit just, like, following us. Oh, come on, man. Don't make me beat the shit out of you. I don't want to beat the shit out of you. I will absolutely destroy you. Oh, man. Cameled when you're starving in the desert. Ironic, yeah. They all run on that 5E homebrewed coffee lock build. Never need sleep that way. What the fuck is that? Homebrewed coffee? <laughs> what even is that sentence? 
Are they following or trying to run past? They're definitely following because like this this icon here says that my one of my characters is under attack. And they just hit one of my characters as well, so. But they're not they're not gonna hit for like any good amount of damage or anything, but it's just like annoying. Okay, right, listen. I'm sorry, but you're about to get fucking destroyed. I'm surprised you're being attacked even with like such a large gang. They're desperate. They want food, you know? They'll do they'll do anything. Okay. Sorry, but you, you're gonna get fucking absolutely cumsted and dumpsted, I'm afraid. See, the AI is a bit shit. It's like all these lads in the back. Like, come on, man. Get out here and attack. Get involved. Get into the fray. Plant just, like, stood there doing nothing. Come on. So, I don't think any of my, um peeps took any damage like there were no red numbers just then which just shows how overpowered we are but i am gonna be nice and i'm gonna heal these if there are any that are like dying yeah this one here is dying so we're gonna heal this guy real quick because it's not fair that they should die just because they're hungry if we don't have any option to like feed them at least we'd, we're not gonna like let them die that one's playing dead very smart okay we're also gonna heal that one is Flimber... Yeah, Flim's a medic, so come first aid. Hey, what's going on, Jolene? You've always wanted to see this game. You hear so much about it. Yeah, healing them improves your stats, yeah. And it will also, like, it, if they see you uh, healing them, it will improve your, like, relationships. Yeah, sorry, if you see... If they see you healing them, it will improve your relationship with them as a faction. When's the next Goblin Man? Uh, when we find one. Um, okay. Stack. Yeah, no, we're not going to go to stack because that's bad news. Now we need to start thinking about, like, tactics. So I'm going to... I'm going to send my peeps over that way. <coughs> Excuse me. It's almost coming up to, like, 11 o'clock as well, and Andy's supposed to be here as well. Yeah, can I get a shout out for Jolene, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go follow Jolene, everyone. She's top. Recently rebranded re to Jojo Nora. Love that name, to be honest. Love that for you. This scent, it reminds me of her. Wait, what's going on? Someone's getting horny. Wait, what happened? What happened? This scent, it reminds me of her? Who said that? Hammett said that. <gasps> oh, right. So listen, Hammett's, Hammett's story is super sad, right? Hammett's story is super sad. He lost his, like, wife to slavers. They, like, they, like, enslaved him and they enslaved his wife. And they, I, th I think, like, the implication is that, like, they sexually assaulted her and murdered her and stuff. So, like, because, like, not only is the Holy Nation, like, extremely racist, like, they're super misogynistic. Like, they just won't even speak to women. Um, so, they obviously treat women like, like shit. And, um, so, like, that, that, like, little bit of dialogue there is an insight into Hammett's character. And it's like, shit, this must be, like, where they got enslaved or whatever, or like where they were captured. They must be like getting close to it. So maybe we're gonna come across the place where, um, you know, they're holding her or some shit, you know? You never know. So maybe that could be like a cool development for Hammett. I love seeing them flow up and down the hills like fast slugs. Yeah, they're little fast slugs, it's cute. Hey, Yellow King, what's going on? Okay, so it's turn it's getting to nighttime now, so we're a lot less likely to get attacked because when you get when nighttime happens, there is like a stealth mechanic in this game, as you can see there in the bottom right. There's like a sneak thing, and depending on your character's stats, you can like sneak past people and whatever. You can sneak past a bunch of uh, a bunch of like parties or whatever. Now, who are these? These are Hungry Bandits as well, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get everybody to sneak past them. Now, we're all wearing heavy armor here, so it's not going to be ideal. So there's a high chance that we're not going to get 
Oh, okay. We ended up sneaking past them. That's really good. Really lucky. Really good. That works. Let's get out of here. So that's super good. Literally, just as I was about to explain that manic mechanic of the game, it's uh, it just straight up happened. All right, Chloe. Have a great stream, love. Yo, gang, please go and follow Chloe. Faye's a great streamer as well. Okay, listen, we might have to cut the stream short because I think Andy is literally, like, here now. Hang on a second. All right, yeah. I'm chat. I am so sorry, but we're not gonna be able. You know, we're gonna have to cut the stream off because I listen. I've streamed for like an hour longer than I should have because I thought Andy was gonna be like uh, here at ten, but it turns out that he's not. So I hope you stream this again in the future so I get a good look at it. I will be streaming this again in the future. If everybody enjoyed it, then. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing stopping me from like streaming it in the future. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stream it next week. I don't know. I'll take a look at, I'll take a look at the uh, statistics of the stream afterwards. And we'll see. We'll see how many, how many people were just chilling while I was playing Kenshi and stuff. But uh, for the time being, gang, thank you so much for being here. It's been a fun little stream. Thank you for popping out. Thank you for supporting me. Um, <clears throat> like I said... I will be in Cornwall this weekend, so I am going to be, like, mostly offline and stuff. Uh, I don't have Twitter on my phone or anything like that, so I'm not going to be tweeting or anything like that. But I am going to be watching the premiere of my new video tomorrow at 5 p.m. Hit me up on the socials. Follow me on Patreon. Follow me on um, YouTube. Follow the VOD channel and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the chat tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably just be, like, in the hotel room chilling out on my phone on YouTube or something. Um, but, yeah. We're going to go raid somebody. We're going to go pass on the love to somebody. You want to see the Lauren Southern one? It isn't about Lauren Southern. It's about Twitch's white supremacy problem. Lauren Southern is in the thumbnail. Uh, but that's about it. She is mentioned, but that's about it. Um, <clears throat> so... Who's live? Let's go Let's go check out who we could go show some love to. There's so many people live right now. And let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, we are going to raid Delta Sapphire. Delta is a beautiful streamer. I love him very, very much. He's a top guy. Always have a fun time with Delta. So let's go show him some love. Hopefully you enjoy his stream as much as I do. And yeah, just thank you everybody. Thank you everybody for all the love tonight. Thank you for all. Thank you for the raids. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the for the subs. Um, and I'll see you next week. Mwah! Stay excellent to each other, everybody. Night 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 night.